When the land falls, what did I see? A bad motherfucker standing next to me. Happy New Year, Beast Coast. Welcome back for another edition of Whiskey Wednesday, episode 41. 41. 41. Four ones. That means we're 11 weeks away from a year. <gasps> a year of whiskey. <gasps> We'll have to do some random 11 shit. Oh. Or 52 different whiskeys. 52 different whiskeys, and we got something really disgustingly gross and funny and disgusting and awesome planned for number 52. Mm. The bug barrel. <laughs> the bug barrel. We'll show you. It's going to be some, some, uh. filthy, some filthy nastiness going on there. Yeah. Um, this week, we got a special treat from Jenna. She brought us yes. something sweet back from uh, Mexico. Mexico! From the yes. Mexicans. The Mexicans Thank actually you, Jenna. Dropped. Yeah, this was uh, my Christmas present, actually. Uh, One of my Christmas presents from Jenna was a bottle of whiskey that apparently you cannot get in Canada. So you have to try uh, your darndest to find this. Aberfeldy. Aberfeldy. Highland Single Malt Scotch, 12 years, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Mellowed for 12 years and handmade oat cast, product of Scotland. Scotland! And there's a big read up. Freedom! <laughs> The site of our distillery was chosen for its supply of good water and the railway that linked to it to Perth. The puggy engine. The puggy. The puggy <laughs> engine. Ooh. Careful. Yeah. Also, we can't drink all that tonight. She wanted to try some, so we got to save, like, at least, you know, like... Uh, oh, well, let's pour a drop into something right now. <laughs> Just a save. little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll save the cork. You can lick the cork. <laughs> I guess I should leave this open. <laughs> it is a scotch. We've been doing a lot of scotches lately, but I mean, scotches are pretty fancy. I do like some of the scotches. We did that, uh, that Glen, Glen mm. Morangi. That was the last one. Glen, Glen Morangi? Yeah, Glen Morangi. That's what it's called. Yeah. Uh -huh. all, a lot of the scotches are called Glen something. <laughs> smells like scotch. I can, my nose is all fucked. Scotch, scotch, scotch. Scotchy, fell, scotch, scotch. Fell, fell in the snow scotch. the other day, face first. Of course now all the snow is gone. So it's like... Insult to injury. A tube. A tube of whiskey. Tube. That better than a tube of toothpaste, for sure. And we got the, the, the new honey lager from Beards. It's actually, yeah. It's delicious. We haven't opened these ones yet because it's tradition. Oh, he forgot the tradition. Uh, it's tradition. <laughs> it's tradition. I keep putting it down because I'm like, eh. In John's Bonnie hometown. John Bonnie. John's Bonnie hometown of Aberfeldy. That sounds <laughs> fun. It's a really nice bottle, though. It is a little stout bottle, a little tiny bottle. It's got a bit of a afterburn there, but it goes down fairly smooth. It actually goes down really smooth, but the afterburn's a little puggy and tight. They got Ooh. 2005 gold, 2007 gold, 2012 gold, Mond Selection Belgium. It's got some of that peatiness to it, for sure. The, the scotch, the signature scotch. Ah, for sure. Signature scotch, uh... Scotchiness. The scotchiness of the scotch. <laughs> Obviously, this is not your, uh, professional whiskey, whiskey review. Actually, I guess we're getting there. We are going through the schools. We're going through the steps. We're learning a little bit more as we go. We don't do it like those fellas that just drink it neat and sip the cup, smell the cup. That's boring. We smell the bottle. That's something. And then we do a shot, and we do it on the rocks, because that's how Canadians drink. On the rocks, just like the liquor store. <sighs> We like them a little bit. They're really nice to us. And uh, it hasn't been stocked yet, but in the new store, the one on 100th, there is a display shelf there where you can get your Beast Coast gear. Say what? Yeah. How long have I been gone? I haven't seen you since last year. <laughs> uh, well, cheers. Cheers to the great return of Baish. Baish. Bye, she's back. Bye, she's back. Eric. Tell a friend. <laughs> that one didn't want to go down. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> <sighs> it's uh, slowly but surely, it's getting down there. Uh, <laughs> a bit more. <laughs> there Punch it, it in. <laughs> Punch it nice in. And, nice and warm now. Scottish alchemy. Turning water, barley, and alchemy. yeast into liquid gold. Which is. It's simpler when the steam tumbling towards you contains that precious metal. Built on land. Precious metal. Famous like deposits of gold and dis 
uh, our distillery has welcomed travelers to taste its treasure since 1808. 1808. 1808. You know what? I think 18s and 8s are a magic number. I'm born on the 18th, uh, 28th. Uh, Brooke's born on the 28th. My aunt is born on the 28th. My dad's born on the 18th. My grandmother's born on the 18th. I'm born on the 17th, so I guess I always, you know, that's typical Close. for my life. Always a day and a dollar short, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the way she goes. I mean, you <laughs> the fucking way she goes. You definitely missed one or two of these fucking festivities. We missed you a little bit. Sometimes it got a little hectic here. We had to I'm also looking scramble. To beer fest. And we're going to need to beer find fest. a fucking replacement for this little douche. No, he's no, he's not going for another year now. We got we to gotta oh! trade him for another year. Beer fest. So, Cody and Deanna, we're coming for the title again. again two yeah, years in a row. Back Chris, we Chris Wheeler, are you seriously like, dude, if, like we got free entry into next year, bud. Like, you better get your fucking ass up yeah. here. Because yeah, we're, we're going to take down uh, Beer Fest again. It's happening. Uh, With or without you. Yeah, if we have to replace you with somebody who's equally great. We'll find him. Brody. Um, there you go, Brody. Because he was supposed to be there two years in a row and yeah. never made it. Brody's supposed to have been there lots of years in a row and never made it. But yeah. Anyways, uh, Chris stepped Also, up the Mudfest. We are, anybody who's out there and you see this and you're thinking Mudfest, uh, we're trying to get a group together. We want to start a, like a Mudfest uh, organizing committee. We want to get some people in so we can make it a little bit easier. Because last year we were run ragged. It was only three oh, yeah. of us out there, yeah. four of us out there. So, like uh, Brad Thomas, uh, Gary Brown, Kyle Sickles, guys, guys that helped out us. last year. Uh, get a hold of us. Brandon Kowalski, you get at me, I'll get at you. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get together. We want to build uh, a Appreciate bit of a committee. P Peace Region Truck Enthusiasts. Yeah, yeah, Brandon, get at us. We're uh, going to build something. We're going to make something great. we pretty sure we have. We're going to make mud bogs great again here in Force Yeah, we're going to make the mud gods, mud bogs, mud gods. We're going to make the mud, mud gods, gods happy. We are going to be the mud gods. Yeah, we're going to be the mud gods, gods of the Peace Region. We're going to wow. make something happen. How mud many gods. fucked up words can we, like, how many times can we. Yeah. <laughs> God, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Monomena. <laughs> Monomena, dog. God. <laughs> Same thing. Anyways. Ugh. You can Ooh. definitely get the flavors in there a lot more. Oh my. Still got a bit of a, a that, tinge on the mustache, that, but. That beast, that beast, that peaty, peaty, peaty something. The peaty train. The pug, the puggy. The puggy engine. It's uh, yeah, like definitely a little bit of aftertaste of the mustache, but uh, otherwise that is that gets really smooth, really smooth. Dig the deeper, who? Yeah. No, it is. It's definitely a nicer. I mean, we've had some rough scotches. We've had. Oh, for sure. Some yeah, we've had some bad ryes on here though too. So I mean, what can that say? We're hmm. rye guys. Bad whiskeys, bad ryes, bad scotches. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh god. Anyway, so what do you think there, bud? Out of the bottle? Out of the bottle, I'm gonna go a two and a half because it get it, it went down smooth, but it was it had a little bit of a the, yeah, uh, that hard to handle. It's got a little leg. Yeah. Yeah. I would uh, it'd come pretty close. I'd go yeah, maybe two seven five. Uh, go shout out Gord. to Gopher Gore. Uh, yeah, it was good. I think it it shot really nice. Like it was really smooth. Uh, despite what you saw, like, the, I mean, the, 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 the liquor, did, did, did. like the actual fluid itself, goes down really smooth. There's a bit of a burn she uh, a afterwards. A, she has a bit of a breath afterwards. She gives yeah. you a little bit of a. Little bit of I would extra. go. I would go a three on the shot. I'd probably, I'm probably gonna stick solid. Right. I'd probably go two seven five on the shot, even though it did. It did yeah. almost choke me out, but it wasn't. It was like the after breath. It was like the the swap after, but it wasn't bad. The flavors are there, and it, it is it smooth. Does. It is. It's, like, just, it's, it's, it's got a bit of a breath. It does have a dragon's breath to it. Yeah, I was. Yeah, it definitely came back. It was like yeah. it wanted to come back out, but it wasn't oh, yeah. the whiskey. It was the the, the yeah. aromas. And uh, on the rocks, I think it cleans uh, it up. You get this. You get, the, nice. you get this. You get to feel the flavor. Um, you still get a bit of the dragon's breath, like that. That bit of an aftertaste when you exhale, but. Uh, it's smooth, like it's and it's got a fair bit of flavor to it's guys who like to sip yeah. stuff like that, like the Basil yeah. Hagens and stuff like that. Uh, Isaac and a few people um, that like it, you know, prefer stuff straight. Um, it is smooth. It's, it's smooth. got a sweetness to yeah. it on the rocks too. It's definitely oh, got a definitely. sweetness. Yeah, it definitely got a sweetness. Very good. So, I'm gonna go with a 3.25 on the rocks. I, I was gonna go exactly that. Three point two five on the rocks. It's not it was, definitely not my favorite. I'm obviously not because I'm. I'm I, and it, we're we're Canadian rye. We are we, Canadian we are, rye. We're Canadian guys. Uh, we're rye guys. You know, part we're partial to Canadian rye. 
but uh, I think as far one. as scotch goes, it's it's a, you know as far as the scotches we've tried on this show, it's one it, of the uh, one of the nicer ones for sure. It uh, is nice, yeah. It doesn't have a Glen, which made me weirded out a little bit because all the all the scotches seem to have Glen, Glen Finnick, yeah. Glen Morangi, Glen. There's Glen, Glen Finnick and there's Glen Finnich. Like there's like two different ones, right? Like they're so close in their name. I thought there was. I thought Glen Finnich was said differently. I thought that was Glen Finnick. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's two that like are almost identical names. There's a lot of Glens out there. But yeah, Glen. 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 Glen must be just like a whiskey connoisseur name. You might mean you're born Glen. You just know whiskeys. Yeah. You come out of there. And you're <laughs> like, nope. Fuck this milk. I need. I yeah, need, I need a fucking single malt. Yeah, scotch. I need really a single scotch. malt. Mom. 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 Scotch loaf. Mom. Scotch. <laughs> scotch. Mom. Either way. And in uh, Ireland, it just happens. Like you just. Yeah. No, no that's, they just mix go. it in there. Irish yeah. whiskey. And I mean, I wasn't a fan of the first one because the first one we did was that Bush Mills, and I was not a Ooh. fan of Bush Mills. No, but Jameson's surprised and, us a couple yeah. times actually. Jameson, their Caskmates um, is phenomenal. Yeah. I would definitely, they definitely recommend this Caskmates. So, uh, if you can find a bottle of this, you should probably try it. It's definitely it's worth a try. It, I think it's, work, it's worth it. being in a liquor cabinet. I think we and we have we're starting to get a substantially uh, decent liquor yeah, cabinet. We right gotta work down again. We gotta start hitting some of these bottles a little harder. Uh, yeah, we could always do that. It's uh, it is the new year, new year, new me. I mean by that. That's know, right. More whiskeys is all I really mean. Yeah, more so, whiskey. What do we need? We need, we need all those mud assholes to get at us. All yes. the mud. Everybody who wants we to be a part you, of it. We mentioned you, Brad Thomas, uh, Gary Brown, Kyle Sickles, Get out. Guys that helped out last year, please. We want to do uh, like a weekly, bi-weekly meeting. We want everybody on board. We got to start pounding the pavement. We got to hit the road on this. We want to make this a big event. Otherwise, I mean, on the other end of this, if you feel like you want to contribute or sponsor in some way, we are looking for sponsors. We want. We are looking for sponsors. Uh, yeah. We're gonna be ideally. We want to do mud drags this year. I think mud drags. Mud drags and a, and a bounty and, hole. And a bounty hole minimum. And I'd love to. I'd love to throw together a free for all pit and do like a, a freestyle and have anybody and everything open class. Because someone has fun. someone's mentioned an ATV class. Are we doing an ATV class? That made me think. Are we gonna do a snowmobile class? In the mud. With all the snowmobiles up here, you never know. You never know. There's a lot you of rednecks with. Snowmobiles and too much money, you want to come around through the mud, we should have a snowmobile class. Well, we had cars going through last year, cars and kayaks. So Kay I mean, Yeah, we had, yeah, from kayaks to big, yeah, it was insane. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Uh, obviously, we're we're in the right we're in the right neck of the woods. Everybody drives a fucking jacked up truck. That's right. So we want to see as many as we can. We want to have, we're, we're hoping, uh, if we can really hit it, we want to do a two-day event. Two-day event would be some right on the Camping passes. We'll see what the interest's like. Anyways, I think that's, uh, that's pretty 41. much. Yeah, that, that. Pretty much ties in the 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 beginning of the year here. You know what we, we want to do, and uh, 2019 year of the beast. That's right. What? So until next time, Beast Coast. Stay classy. Keep her classy. Ooh, keep her classy. Yeah. Stay classy. Same thing. You got the point. And always, fucking. I really hope Trayvon cuts this like two minutes ago, so we can Fuck just get you. the keep it classy part.